So this is the new Gambler Wrecking Ball. What is it? It's pretty simple. It's a free swinging football style head combined with an offset shank hook. It's just a killer new presentation that's getting a lot of hype out on the water, but not too much hype in the press. It catches fish flat out where you can't catch them on a Texas rig or a traditional football jig. It'll kind of blow your mind. Um, like I said, it's a real simple concept. I think one of the big keys, especially with the wrecking ball and these swinging football style head jigs, is it just the, the motion and the movement of the bait. Um, it really allows for a free flow of that bait as you retrieve it. And there's something about that that's just drawing bites where fish just don't want to commit to anything else. What's really cool about the wrecking ball is there's a lot of different options for, for rigging. You know, traditionally what guys are doing with it is they're putting creature style baits on the back. Uh, something like the Why Not, the Ugly Otter, the Bacon Rind, hog style baits. Uh, it, kind of like your creature style slash flipping style baits, something a little more compact. Um, and they're doing a lot of damage with them. I personally am using them a bit different than a lot of guys. Um, most guys are going to be there. The concept behind them, I guess you could say, is they're, they're meant to be slow rolled in, um, just kind of a very slow, steady retrieve. And the biggest key behind that is keeping bottom contact, um, really keeping that head kind of rolling across the bottom. That's the beauty of a football jig. It'll roll through a lot of that cover and structure. Um, one thing that I've been doing, since there are kind of a lot of possibilities with the wrecking ball, is I've actually been taking a more of a dragging approach with it and using it to tap into some brush piles. And, you know, this might be a Florida tweak, but I think really when it comes down to it, you can put just about any plastic on these. One thing I've been doing is I've been using half of an ER-16 and aces, fat aces, even ribbon tail worms, and I've been using it kind of as a snagless structure jig. Um, and dragging it through some, some pretty heavy cover as well as some shell bars and that. So really, when it comes down to it, there's some traditional ways to fish this, but the only thing that's gonna limit you is the boundaries that you set up in your head. Um, it's a terminal tackle setup, offset shank hook and a football head. You know, it's gonna work in a lot of offshore, a lot of structure oriented situations. That's the beauty of that football head. And really, in the end, you're only limited to you know what kind of plastics you're going to fit on there. There's really no boundaries to uh, what you can trailer up on the back of those wrecking balls. Um, so it's a real cool setup, and I can guarantee you, went out with some guys. You know, you can take a Texas rig worm, you can take a Texas rig creature bait, you can take a football jig, just your traditional football jig, and the person who's throwing the wrecking ball or a free swinging football head is gonna catch five times as many fish right in front of you. There's something unique and just magical about the action or the movement that's produced by that free swinging nature of the bait. I don't care what you have on the back of it, it's about the action, it's about that movement that it produces, and right now it's hot. Nobody's talking about it because it works, and that's the way things usually work. It'll come out after a while, but these jokers are hot. Um, definitely want to give it a try and put whatever you want on the back of it. There's a traditional way to do it, but in the end, whatever you want to put on the back of it and just drag or kind of slow roll it away, just keep that bottom contact. That's what that football head is for. But give them a try, guys. I think you're going to be blown away by the results you get out of them. And uh, definitely put up your picks on Facebook and uh, show us what you catch on because we love to see it. All right, tight lines.